Hello and welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dan. In this lesson, we'll learn how to play Come Sail Away by Styx, and we'll take a look at the intro in this video. It sounds like this. Three, four. So that's the intro to Come Sail Away. We also have the verse, second verse, chorus, bridge, and whole song sections, all at hdpiano.com if you're not there yet. And as always, a question before we get going. Uh, Styx, a classic late 70s, 80s band, this being their most iconic song. I wanted to know what your favorite song from Styx is. Comment below. All right, so this intro, it's this nice lullaby-esque uh, part. And it's a lot simpler than it might look or sound. Uh, let's start with the left hand. This is middle C. So we're starting up pretty high on the keyboard. And this is a C major triad, C, E, G. We take this triad and we shift it up to D minor. It's D, F, A. And we take that same shape and we shift it up to E minor. And then we go back down to D minor and then to C major again. And then the final chord is G. This is G, B, D. So again, C to D minor. We're just sliding this shape up. To E minor. Back down to D minor. To C. And then ultimately to G. And that caps our intro. All right, so what's the left hand doing here? It's arpeggiating. All right, arpeggiating means we play these notes uh, in some sort of order. We're breaking this chord into different little rhythmic pieces, okay? And we're going to do it like this. All right. Um, this is maybe more like Alberti bass. Now that I think of it, you could call this Alberti bass. Google it. I think you'll, uh, you might find it interesting. So you'll see we're playing bottom, top, middle, top, middle, top, bottom, top. We take that format and we do it on each chord. Bottom, top, middle, top, middle, top, bottom, top. Same thing on E minor. And then back down. And then when we, re when we return to C, it changes a little bit. Then we go bottom, top, middle, top. Same for G. All right, so let's see if we can play those chords with that uh, Alberti bass styling uh, really slowly, okay? Three and four and one. different here. All right. I think it's also important to note that I'm using quite a bit of sustain pedal. A sustain pedal, if you're on an acoustic, is the far right one. If you're on an electric, it's probably the only pedal. Okay, so I'm playing, I'm pressing that pedal down to help me blend between chords. I only lift it between chords. So I did a quick little lift played the chord and then pressed it right back down, all right? We do have a practice tip video out there somewhere on YouTube if you're curious to learn more about the pedal. All right, let's introduce the right hand. Not any more challenging. We play E, D, C, E. Try that. E, D, C, E. And then the only thing that changes in that motif is the thumb. The thumb bumps up to F, and then the rest of the notes, the rest of the pattern is the same. Same thing for this third time. And then the fourth time, back down. And there's the first little challenging bit, C, B, A, B, C. All right, I'm gonna show you those first four measures with the left hand really slowly. One and two and ready and play. 
and one. All right, the final two measures, watch the right hand. So we play C, G, C, C, and then here's my favorite part, the trill. The trill just uh, is exactly what it looks like here. We're alternating quickly between two notes. All right, so B and C happen to be those notes in this part. And then we launch off into this. So, If you can't make that trail, if your fingers don't quite have that butterfly in them yet, uh, it's just fine to go. But it's my favorite part, so work out that uh, that stamina there in those hands. All right, let's see if we can play the whole intro really slowly. Two and ready and play. Same thing, a little faster. One and two and ready and intro. So there's your medium tempo. If you're still struggling at this point, feel free to rewind, go back, address some of the things that are hanging you up. We're going to play it at recorded tempo, which is 114. One, two, and intro, two, ready, and. So that's all there is to it, guys. The intro is not as complicated as it might seem. It does take some gathering between the hands. Uh, the left hand has a pretty involved part, so uh, it's just going to take some muscle memorizing at this point. But like I said before, we have verse, verse 2, chorus, bridge, whole song, all that at hdpiano.com, so I'd love to direct you that way if you're not there already. And uh, while I've got you on the line, why don't we connect on social media? On Twitter, we'll take your requests. We are at HDPiano. The hashtag for the request is, uh, excuse me, it's hashtag HD requests, believe it or not. On Instagram, we'd love to see your performances. So send us your favorite clip of you playing. Maybe it's the intro to this stick song. Uh, and then we'll repost it for all our followers to see. We love showing you guys off. On Facebook, tons of cool content on there. On YouTube, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, do it. Um, I think that's about it, guys. We're going to learn the verse to come sail away by sticks at hdpiano.com. I am Dan, and this is the home of the hybrid piano lesson. I'll see you for part two. <laughs>